and cue music. And cue Nathan. Happy Founders Day, Rutherford Falls. You know, our fair town wasn't always going to be called Rutherford Falls. That's right, old Lawrence changed his mind six times. At one point, he was dead set on naming it after his brother Horace. When you say that out loud, it sounds like Horsville. <laughs> Needless to say, they moved on from that one pretty quick. I guess what I'm trying to say is, changing one's mind is distinctly Rutherfordian. And that's why I've changed my mind. And I've come to the conclusion that it's the right thing to do to move Big Larry. Nope, yeah, nope, it's okay, don't freak out, don't freak out. No, it's actually kind of exciting because the new location is pretty cool. Good for you, Nathan. Can we focus on the problems that are actually important? Well, Big Larry's important. More important than the opioid crisis. Yeah. Apples and oranges, Carla. We should refurbish him. He looks old and sad. Okay, folks, this is not a Q&A. <laughs> uh, All I right, Bunny, let's wrap it up. Support refurbishing, not resculpting. Screw that, we should get a new statue. That thing's like a billion years old. What about like Jenna Marbles? Or my dog. She's got like 2,000 followers on Instagram. People, the moving of Big Larry is on the table, not replacing him. Are you kidding me? He's the heart and soul of this town. I have something to say. Oh, no. Bonnie. In not, 1951, not... a woman named Juanita Cordova now, went Bonnie. into labor on her way to Albany. We've had this argument, Bonnie. She couldn't wait and gave birth to a daughter in Rutherford Falls. That little girl would become TV superstar Linda Carter. Wonder Woman was born in our town. Okay, yes, a woman named Linda Carter was born in our town. There is absolutely no evidence that it was the Linda Carter who went on to TV stardom. We are not building a statue of Wonder Woman in our town. Deirdre, back me up. I respect the voices of my constituents. <laughs> Let's chase this momentum. In a hundred years, who's gonna care about Big Larry? I don't care about him right now. Is that right? That statue sucks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your stupid pie holes. Just, wow. yeah, because you don't get it. You're not getting it, okay? A bunch of years ago, Lawrence Rutherford wrote and signed a legally binding agreement with the Minnesonka. That's why this town exists. That's why all of you exist, okay? Lawrence Rutherford is our forefather. He's our Adam and Eve, our, our Tigris and Euphrates. And that statue, which sits on my family's land, commemorates all that he gave us. And if you don't get that, well, you're just an ungrateful boob. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Changing my mind again. <laughs> Big Larry's gonna stay right where he is. Nope, not gonna budge. Not only that, but I'm gonna double down on my efforts to make sure each and every one of you understands exactly how important he is and why it's so important that he's there. And if you disagree, you can burn in hell. <laughs> yeah, just burn right up. <laughs> Go get your boy. Okay, no, but I'm not done telling these people why they're wrong and stupid. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, but there's gonna, you're gonna hear more about this.